Shalom. This video is in response to a video posted on the Omid Yashar channel uh, by a certain individual that claims the Rambam says that you should only drink a revit of wine or seems to imply that based on other sources in the Rambam you should drink only a revit of wine on Purim and criticizes very heavily in strong words such as Khalil Hashem and all sorts of things individuals that drink more than a revit of wine on Purim. Um, this is totally wrong. This is not with the halacha. This is not by Torah law. Purim is a definitely a special occasion. The Rambam talks about this very clearly as to what Purim is about. And if you look in Hilchot Megillah or Hanukkah Perek Bet, it talks about the Suda, the Mishte, and a Mishte is a wine feast. And we'll come back to that. So let me just read this real quickly. Ketzat chovat soda zo. Shiachal basar vitaken soda na. Kefi asher tinsa yado vishote yain. Ad shiishtaker oyardem vishichrut. A person is supposed to prepare the best soda he can, prepare meat, and drink wine until he falls asleep in drunkenness. Now, for some people, it could be revit of wine is enough, and kolakavod, um, they save money. But uh, people who drink just revit of wine, based on sakavlacha uh, of somebody, sakavlacha of somebody who just doesn't get it, doesn't want to understand what the Rambam is saying because of his own uh, cultural overlay on this, his own uh, dislike. Uh, for alcohol uh, is stopping at least part of the Bnei Yisrael and other individuals from uh, performing the mitzvah to its fullest, at the very least, if not the mitzvah bechlal. Uh, the the Divrei Sofrim and, and the, um, the Chachamim, uh, they want us to drink until we fall asleep and we don't know the difference between Haman and Mordechai, basically. That, that is uh, the best way to fulfill the mitzvah. Uh, I personally need to drink more than Revi'it of wine. Uh, remember, every, every drop of wine we drink is also Lemzog. You always water down the cup a little bit, at least. Um, especially if your wine comes from Eretz Yisrael and other places where the wine is strong and isn't pre-diluted for you in the bottle. Uh, quite often, you can get organic wines in Eretz Yisrael that are very strong just like they were in the Yemei Talmud. Either way, we do water down the cup. So having just a single cup, single revit of watered down wine is not going to do it for most people. Most people will not fall asleep on this. Most people will not um, fulfill the mitzvah. Uh, and uh, if people understand uh, what a mishte is about, and mishte is um, a word that the Rambam brings in the same parak that I talked about, um, mitzvat yom arba asar libne kfarim wa ariot wa yom hamisha asar libne karachim lihiot yame mishte wa simcha. To be, it's it, it, depending on the day whether or not you're in a walled city or an unwalled city, uh, from the time of Yeshua ben Nun, it's to be a day of mishte, uh, drinking feasts. Uh, that is drinking with food uh, and with family, usually in a private setting, not out in the streets, okay, uh, not getting drunk and throwing out, and throwing up in the streets or doing foolish acts or forbidden acts. Obviously, we don't want to go against the Torah, but it's supposed to be a day of mishte and simcha. If you look up mishte, you'll find it in Mishaya, um, and you'll find it in uh, the Megillah, of course, and neither one talk about moderation when it comes to a mishte. A mishte is a time where you do drink more than just a revit, unless that is enough to get you drunk. And some people, um, some Bnei Yisrael and some other people uh, of other genetic backgrounds, uh, don't need a lot of alcohol to get drunk and fall asleep. For them, if they just drink a revit and that truly puts them to sleep, sad there. For other people, if they need uh, to drink more than a revit, well, I suggest they drink more than a revit because otherwise they're not fulfilling the mitzvah. Uh, do not listen to people who 
don't want to understand the halacha. Um, if you don't want to listen to me, you can run this video by your Rav, uh, by your Pasakador, uh, Pasakalacha, Posek, whoever, whoever uh, you trust and believe will give you a fair answer. Lafi uh, Halacha. Um, there are a lot of people out there who are true Tamedei Chachamim. Most of them are not known. Um, so if you want to run this video by and say, hey, what does that guy say, you know? What does that uh, individual say? Is it true that, uh, you know, uh, run this video? You could run uh, the video that's posted on the Omed Yashar channel if you want by, uh, by Tamedei Chachamim. I have no question <laughs> that they will say that it's okay to drink more than a Revi'ita wine. The Rambam does not say, the Ferush does not say not to drink more than a Revi'ita wine on Purim. This obviously is um, a special time and it is a time of Mishteh and you should have a Mishteh and it should be Bebesimcha and Zoche, Tegu'ula, Rufu'ah, Lekola Bnei Yisrael, Wagam Shebet Lewi. Amen. Can you